Hey, welcome this morning to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 24, today verses 28 to 31. Let's read our passage. Then they drew near to the village where they were going, and he indicated that he would have gone farther. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to stay with them. Now it came to pass, as he sat at the table with them, that he took bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. So as we saw previously, this was Jesus himself. He was crucified, buried in the tomb. He's risen from the dead, and now it's the first day of the week, and everybody's sad, and, and they're going home here, and Jesus catches up with this group of sad, sad sack people walking along the road. He explains to them in all the scriptures things that refer to Jesus as being Messiah. He's strengthened their faith, and they still don't know it's Jesus. And they invite him to spend the night with with them, and they want to, you know, what they want to do? They want to talk some more. They want to listen to Jesus teach some more, don't they? But uh, Jesus, Jesus breaks bread there and begins, the, and then he vanishes. And so Jesus gives them kind of a surprise uh, thing there. He himself, Jesus himself, came to be with them. Jesus always shows us uh, life. He always shows us hope. He gives us courage and hope. And just, just that's what he did with this group of discouraged disciples on the road to Emmaus. This was a pretty shocking thing, and they went from total disaster, total depression, all the way up to extreme joy, because they realize now that the grave couldn't hold him. Jesus is alive, and there is hope forevermore. And there's hope forevermore for you and I. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus is risen from the dead. Thank you that the things in the scriptures do point to him. Thank you that we can come to know him. And thank you, Lord, that we can be his followers even today. We want to be encouraged and have hope. And here we see one way that Jesus did that. Help us to be encouraged and have hope. Now we ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. So I hope you're encouraged and you have hope. Uh, Jesus is risen from the dead. He's never going back. And all there is ahead for us is life and good pieces on the way to the fullness of the kingdom. God bless you.